Let's learn boxing. Welcome back guys, this is week 5, second session of the week and session 14 in total. So proud of you guys and as usual, let's start our moment. Okay, so right now we're going to go up, down, left, right, start. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight. Head rotations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arm rotation. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change hug yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Okay, wrist rotations. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. I'll go rotations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change. Upper body, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, rotate your hips, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, touch your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Three rotations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hip openers. One and inwards. Outwards. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Excellent job, guys. Let's go for watch next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, next we have leg swings, guys. So, hip and foot against the wall and swing your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. Your leg, let's swing. One, two, three, forward swing, front then sideways. Five, six, seven, eight. Change. Swing sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three. Okay. So data and fills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me other three press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change of lasers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome, guys. Well done. Let's get right into our HIIT session. Today, in the HIIT session, we have burpees and then we have high plank knee curls so i'll show you guys the second exercise but burpees is quite simple jump get down boom if you want you can add a push up if you feel a little more enthusiastic today but if not this jump get down into your push up position and come back up you're going to do it for 30 seconds two sets starting right now let's get ready easy guys come on start Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. You can let that go. Easy, come. Yeah. You can go down, do a push up, come back up, do much without a push up. Then vary it however you want to. Relax. Breathe. We have 30 seconds of rest. Let's bring in the energy, guys. Let's do as much as we can. Push yourself. Always. Let's do push ourselves, guys. Let's go. Let's start. Come on. Normal bumpy, bumpy will push up, just go for the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, great work. Let's breathe a little. Well, you guys, I'll show you guys what we're going to do next. Last 10 seconds, guys. Shake our hands, shake our legs, relax a little. Awesome. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a high plank position. Right? From here, we're going to tuck our knees in, go back. So, quite simple. Make sure, guys. You don't enter your lower back, so do the movements very carefully, very thoughtful, very properly. That's it. Not the next one. Don't arch your back or into the next one. Just go in, out, in, out. Okay, I want you guys to do it very controlled. Yeah, basically, you take care of yourself. Start in the timer, see you. 30 seconds, two sets. 
Shattered right now. Get into our stance. High climb. And close. Last 10 seconds. Breathe. Let's go, guys. Position. Let's get down for six to six. Come on. Work. Easy. Don't stop. Keep going. Alright, friends. Well done. You conquered those two exercises. Great job. Next we move on to our strength. We have 10 push ups today, 10 lunges, just 3 sets. Let's push ourselves. Let's go beyond our comfort zone. And basically, yeah, just stay in the uncomfortable place where we basically get grow, guys. Always you grow only when you push yourself, when you do something hard, when you do something uncomfortable, that's where the growth is based. Okay? So I encourage all of you guys to push yourself slightly in every session that we do. So let's start with our push-up place. We have 10 push-ups and then we have 10 crunches case. So we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up and then let's start forward movements. One, two, ten is a great number. Ten reps is a lot less and a lot of you will be made at this point. One. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Let's paint around a little. Say some rest. 20 30 seconds. We'll get back and go and work out. Okay. 
Okay guys, let's go into our second set. Let's get down, get into our push-up position. We start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's put 1. Breathe in. Breathe out. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Up. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, same breathe in, breathe out. 8. Keep going, guys. 9. 10. Good job. Let's relax. Guys, don't sway away yourself from doing something difficult. When something is difficult, when something hurts, when something's uncomfortable to do, you have to push yourself. You have to actually switch your mind to be attracted to those things because that is where real growth is based. So I know initially you might give yourself all kinds of excuses when you don't tell ah, why should I do this or why should I do that? But in reality, guys, there is no one had an easy thing. All those guys with amazing six packs and all those girls also with great bodies, all of them put in the hard work. All of them realize that they have to go through something hard to get something in return. And yeah, we all of us like expect to get some great reward at the end of doing something hard. But the truth is there is no great reward. Like no one is going to come and like clap for us and say like wow well done guys like you basically ran a hundred kilometers. Like no one cares. The only person that actually cares is you. So make sure that you're doing it for yourself. Make sure that you are accountable to yourself and just don't cheat yourself. Like, stay in the game, stay true to yourself and yeah, chase discomfort, chase something hard, but not at the expense of an injury, right? Like I'm not asking you to do something completely out of your level. I'm just saying that if this is your level, right? Just slightly above push yourself, okay? We, as I told you, from day one onwards, we are trying to get 1% better every single day than getting 100% better in like two days. Like, that's not our goal to get extremely better or something. We are just pushing ourselves just slightly so that we are slightly better than we were yesterday and we are basically moving towards that goal. We always have amazing arms and like, walking around in the beach, getting all the percent gains that we want. It does not happen, but just think of it. Dream about it. It's good. It's good to have dreams. Let's go. Let's start, guys. We get into our push up position in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. Up. Last set of left wrist. Come on. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Well done. Let's relax a little bit. Get into our most favorite part of this whole training. It's our boxing session. So, just a quick summary of what we learned last week, guys. 
We understood that you can throw punches on alternate legs. Right? Boom. Boom. That's what we learned. I mean, what we learned last class. Last class, we also learned how to defend with the duck, right? So till now, we now do defenses, which is a step back. And now recently we learned the duck. So we're going to build over this. We're going to Train as I told you guys, boxing is a repetitious sport. You gotta train, 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 to get better. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to combine defensive movements with our offensive movements with a lot of footwork, more than all. Basically getting you used to being in a fighting stance, used to moving like a boxer, and getting comfortable with throwing punches and defending at the screen. I know there are no sparring partners, there are no partners are involved today. Actually, throw punch at you and you feel how you should do it or something. But literally, what we're learning in shadow also is great bits. Like in two months, what we can learn just in shadow, just in this small, I don't know, two into two meters square. Like we can learn a lot, guys. So don't underestimate the power of just doing things in shadow and not go to a actual boxing gym. Like you can learn a lot of basics and you can get really decent. With your basics just by doing things in shuffle. Moving forward, obviously, having partners, you can introduce your friends, you can go join a local gym or a club or anything that uh, is near by you. If you don't have access to that, you can uh, get yourself a bunch in bag or, or you can have a family members practice with you. Anything works, case. So don't underestimate what we're doing over here. It's very powerful. You can grow so much with so little pace. So, I just wanted to get that out there. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do right now is it's 45 seconds. We're going to move along, right? We're going to move along, move along, move along, then we forward movements, backwards, leftwards, rightwards, just circling in, circling out. You know that run. I want you guys to freely move along with your proper fighting stance or on your toes. You see, guard up, elbows in, chin down, you're moving along. Comfortably, but this time you're listening to me. I'm going to give you verbal commands of punches. Okay, I'm going to say jab, I'm going to say the cross, I'm going to say one, two, or one, one, two, or two, one, two. Right? Anything, just listen to me. Make sure you're constantly listening to me. You don't have to see what I'm doing. Just move around, move around. When I give you a verbal command of the punch, just throw the punch. Okay, so we're going to go for four, five seconds, two sets, very simple. Move around. Throw punches, whatever I say, right? I'm starting the timer, get into your fighting stance, chin down, arms up, okay? Good. Get into the rhythm, let's go, let's set more now. Move. Keep moving. Jab. Shh. Cross. Shh. Jab. Shh. Jab. Shh. Move back, move to the right. Cross, cross, Shh. one two, Shh. one one, Shh. two two, Shh. one to one, Shh. two and two, one, with that. Okay, I hope you got the gist of it. We're just moving around and give you a verbal command of the combo or the punch, whatever you're going to do. Just execute it, guys. At your own pace, at your own comfort, how you find it, just make sure that your footwork synchronizes with your punches. Either you're moving back or you're moving forward. You already have done the drills, so just implement whatever we learned while doing it on your own pace. Relax. More on. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Start. Move. Move. One, two. Two. Two, one. One, one, two. Two, one, two. One, two. Two, two, one. One two one two. Two and two one. One one two. 
One, one. Two, one. One, two, one. Well done, guys. Good job. So just breathe in a little. Then we'll start at our next stuff. Okay guys, now we are going to practice a few combinations, right? We already know that there are many punches, there are many combinations, you can combine punches with defense and do all kinds of things, right guys? So we are just going to practice a few combinations so that you guys get comfortable such that you can soon build your own combinations, right? So it's all about building your own combinations at the end of the day. So, it's not like you have to write down each combination, mug it up and then just practice that in the long range. No, you can comfortably create your own combinations in the future. If you want to go triple jab and then cross and then step back and then cross jab. Yes, sure, that's a combination. You can do it. It's completely fine. Yes, there are certain rules and everything like which is obviously will aid you in being a better boxer, like if you follow like okay, you throw a punch and then you have to defend a certain way or something. If you follow, then your game will be slightly clean. But obviously you can do unorthodox things also, guys. You can throw three right hands or you can throw like five left hands, like everything works. If you are actually able to land it on your opponent and you're not violating any rules, why not? Right? So the first combination that we're going to do right now is the last combination that we did last class. So we're going to throw the jab, we're going to duck, and then one, two. Very simple. So we can step forward also the jab, duck, bam, bam. That's it. So one jab, one, two. Very simple. 45 seconds, two sets. Breathe out by punching. Make sure your back is nice and up from tight and everything is inside. Your legs are pointing for 20 degrees. Right? If, if this is not very comfortable, guys, you can turn your left leg a little and uh, basically like uh, uh, keep your right leg at a 90 degree bend also. Like anything works, guys. So every style has slight modifications to their legs and all. So it's completely fine. If, if you feel more comfortable like this, go for it. So I've seen people even fight like this and they're great boxes. So anything works, guys. But right now, I encourage you guys just to learn with your legs for it. It's very simple, it's very comfortable. You can move around very comfortably in this position. Just move from that So the first combination is one duck, one, two. Okay, so move forward one, duck, and then throw them one, two, guys. I'm starting the time one, 40 seconds, two sets. Get into your fighting stance. Get ready, guys. Let's go. Jab, duck, one, two. One, duck, one, two. Keep watch. Easy guys. One duck, one two. One duck, one two. That's it. Move on. Make sure you're turning your back to the front cross. Boom, so. One da cha cha. That's it. Let's go, guys. Second side. Start. Shh. <laughs> 
tiempo de empresa. Y sí. Boom. Relax. Wait for 10 seconds. And then you the next combination that we're going to do. Okay, guys. The next combination, we are extremely familiar with it. It's just one. Step back, boom, boom, that's why we have a So, jab, back, and one, two. So, jab, step back, two, two. Simple, right? Okay, let's start the timer. Let's get the combination going. So, step and jab, get back, <laughs> pull up, one, two, guys. So, one step back, one, two, that's the combination. Very simple. I'm starting the timer. Get into your fighting stance. Let's do it for four five seconds. Two sets, start. One, step back, push, push. One, step back, push, push. One, step back. 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 Breathe out, guys. One, step back. One, two. One, step back. Keep going, guys. Relax. The more you get comfortable with the focus, guys, more you can increase the speed also. So, boom, step back. One, two. This is the speed that we're going to now. But six months into your training, Eight months into your training, one year into your training, we'll find us out loaded like this. Really cool. Day. This we take him out down. Okay, hey, you'll get that flow in your feet. Get in a bike and stand, start. One, start. One, start. One, one, two, one, step, two, one, step, two, keep going, guys. Keep going, guys, don't stop. Last for five seconds or something, keep going. Please. Relax a little and you guys, what's that next combination? I'm going to learn something about beauty in you. Okay, guys, so you guys are familiar with the step back, it means it's just up. That's it. Stepping back, okay? So step back basically increases the distance between you and your opponent. And then we learn the second difference, which is the duck, right? The duck, what it does is, it, you duck under your opponent's punch. So given that your opponent is coming in to punch you, boom. And at the same time, you do not move at all. You just stay there and you duck. You'll find yourself inside your opponent's pocket. Right, because your opponent's points is right above you and you're somewhere inside over there, boom, you're just under your opponent. You would have found yourself closer to your opponent than what you would do usually in a step back, right? So you would actually be inside of your own range. Like yeah. a range is nothing but at what distance do your punches at the full length reach your opponent. That's your range guys, right? But you'll find yourself Inside, like your range will have shortened because you have ducked under your opponent's punch. You will have closed the distance and then you're boom, you're inside, right? So usually when you're inside and your opponent is very close to you, guys, getting up and throwing the jab, which is the lead hand, 
right? The jab is this nice long punch, right? But getting up and then throwing the jab from there is not very practical. You might only have like this much space here. You'll get up in, like this much space. Like let me just demonstrate it with my partner over here. So over here, my partner is over here. So when he throws the jab, I just got you see guys how I found myself inside, right? In a step, in a step back, if he throws the jab, look, I'm outside of the range completely. But in the dark, I am inside the range, right? Look over here, I'm inside. So over here for me to get up, like if he pulls his hand back, get up and throw the jab. Look, I'm not getting the most out of my jab, right? But if you just see in our fighting stance, thank you. If you just see in our fighting stance over here, if you throw a punch from your lead hand, your lead hand is closer to your opponent, but your back hand is slightly away from your opponent, right? Boom, that's why you have to turn and punch. So your lead hand can get to your opponent faster and then it's closer also. But if the opponent closes the distance when you have dug, right? Because our lead hand is closer, we do not have enough room to throw our lead hand. But our back hand is at the back, right, guys? So we we'll still have good enough room to actually spring out of our duck and throw our right hand at the opponent. Because our right hand is much more further away than our lead hand towards our opponent. That's the reason why, guys, usually during the death, after you duck, right, try going to start it with your back hand, whatever formations you have, because you'll get a little more power, a little more range, and a little more, basically range is everything, guys. Your punches are most powerful at their end, right? Because you have got this much time to accelerate your knuckle, knuckles from here, your fist is just accelerate and accelerate and accelerate and, and boom, it makes contact. But if you just punch somewhere over here, right, you won't have as much power as you would have the end of it. Similarly, guys, the more distance you have actually to throw your punch, throw your full punch, that's what you have to try to throw. So when you duck, it's always better to come back with your back hand because as I told you guys, that distance, that distance gives you a little more advantage in coming back with your back hand, you'll have more power in it. So that's what we're going to do right now. Our combination is, we're moving forward with the 1-2, then we duck, and from here we go 2-1-2. Two, two. So we already learned guys, we can alternate our punches with the legs, okay? And for, for the most part, 80% of the fight, I want you guys to be a puppet, right? Left hand, left leg, right hand, right leg. But for that, Extra 20% sometimes, you can switch, you can be a weird pocket, right? That throws left leg, right hand, right leg, left hand. It's completely different. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in, jump, we're going to turn, and then step with my left leg, I go with cross, jump, cross. Okay, sorry. Cross, jab, cross, jab. Okay, four punches. So, one, two, duck, two, one, two, one. Very simple. One, two, duck, two, one, two, one. Okay. 45 seconds, two sets, started right now. Get in your scans, guys, get ready. And the timer is going to start now. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Awesome. Fun. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Breathe now, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Easy. Come on. Relax. Quite simple, guys. One, two, done. Two, one, two, one. Three. Last our seconds. Get in row of light distance. Let's get ready to finish the second set. Set. One, two, three. Ah, nice.
One, two, that, two, one, two, one. One, three, Easy, guys. Punch, punch, extend your punches. Come on. One, two, that, two, one, two, one. Awesome. Relax. Walk around a little. Last two combinations, guys. Time to practice combinations. I told you it's a repetitious sport. So, the more you practice, the more faster you're going to learn to take your own combinations. It's only now that I'm going to give you guys combinations, but going forward, you'll have to create your own combinations. Okay, yes. next combination is very simple. Same, you start with one, two, we step back, and then we move in with four punches. That's it. Okay, so one, two, step back, one, two, one, two. Okay, just change your opponent. So you throw the one, two, you step back, your opponent assists, and then you take the opportunity of that, and cha -cha -cha -cha. you attempt with four punches straight. Okay, I'm starting the timer base. Let's get ready. Two, step back. One. Close your fist, guys. Don't open your fist. Again. Keep going. One, two, step back. One, two, one, two. One, two, step back. One, two, one, two. Easy, come on. Relax. Face it on. Elbows in. Close your fist. Don't open your fist, guys. This not the life will be over at first. But still learn it. It's very important. Get used to trying to stay holding your fist. Nice, sharp, tight fist. So that will be over. Any less injuries? Any finger injuries? Anything else? So nice, fist then. Attack. Ready? Start. Yeah. One, two, step back. One, two, three, two. Yeah. One, two, step back. One, two, step <laughs> Keep one. Easy, guys. Come on, give one. Last 10 seconds. One, two, step back. Four points. Relax. Oh, four combinations, nice, long, heavy combinations. You see, the kind of effort that boxing requires from us right there. The kind of effort it takes to actually box. It's great, guys. It's boxing in itself, as I told you, is a great workout, right? So you just box, you're going to be super freaking fit. Okay, look, this my function, I can already feel this big turn in my... Uh, so I can feel my arms also because they play a huge role in stabilizing. Right? I'll be falling and I make my sound a little bit, right? But the arms they hold it and they hold it and it right? So that punch are great. Obviously, I'm showing us French shoulders back. Everything is working to be able to throw that punch. Our legs are constantly working. Everything is So basically, muscle and our body is coordinating together for us to be able to throw. And yeah, you can already feel it. Yeah. You're breathing heavier, right? Because it's a very like, aerobic heavy sport. You need to have a good capacity of, I don't know, just aerobic capacity to be able to box space. So, yeah. And you will definitely see this if you get really good at boxing and if you are able to do long, three minute long, bad work, three minute long, shadow boxing. 
spar and and then their life, which is actually very tough. But if you are able to do that, you'll see it trickle down and every parts of your life will trickle. Your yeah. runs will get easier, and your walks will get easier. If you go hiking, it will be easier. If you play any sport like football, cricket, uh, basketball, volleyball. In those sports also, you'll see yourself performing better. Obviously, every sport you have to play that sport to get good at that sport. But by just boxing alone, you can see that are a lot of improvements in your overall athleticism along the broad spectrum of sports base. So that is just playing your day-to-day -day life also. You feel a little bit more active. And please, for the love of God, guys, like it's my pet peeve, but. I hate it when people take the lift to the first floor or to the second floor. Okay, it's for God's sake, just take the stairs. Like someone has created those stairs for something. Like don't be lazy, just climb those stairs, burn some calories. That's so important. There's something called as meat, guys, M E A T. So that is when our just day to day life, like we sit on the chair, we get up from the chair, we walk down the stairs, we move around, like do our laundry and everything, right? Even in that, whatever we do throughout our day, right? We burn calories over there. So, you just taking that extra flight of stairs is, is you're just doing good for yourself. You're burning those extra calories, you're bringing in new habits, you're basically trying to, I don't know, uh, deal with this for a case. That's it. So, and the worst part is when when you guys go to the gym and take the lift at the start in just one floor to go to the gym, you take the lift. That, that shatters my heart. Like my heart breaks into a million pieces. You're going to the gym, brother, sister, whoever you are. Please, freaking take the stars. Walk. It's a great warm-up just to go up. But anyways, guys, our last combination for the day is one. One, two. That's it. Very simple. Probably my favorite combination. Just boom, boom, boom. Okay, chase your augment with foot grab and cross. As you know, guys, we're going to do it with four steps. So one and then one, two. That's how you're going to learn. But moving forward, we'll find it to be a little more practical in the ring because this obviously is too slow and I'm, in, I'm not very practical in the ring. So We'll definitely refine it, but for now, I want you guys to just do this. Start in the timer, 45 seconds, two sets. Let's get started. Start. Again. Keep going. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. Three dogs. On your toes. Relax. Bring nice new breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. That moment. Again. Again. Keep going. Chin down, guys. Okay. Chin down. Relax. Ooh. Great workout, guys. It's slowly. Get ready for our lower back session. So, sit down a little. 
A class. Till now, all the things that we did today, guys, we combined the duck with a few more combinations. We did the step back with a few more combinations. We basically threw punches, guys. That's how you get better. You just throw more punches, keep it in your form, and obviously, like over micro managing your form also is not required, guys. Like I'm telling you, in this sport, you cannot beat them. It's going to take you a good long enough time for you to be able to throw a good punch, a solid punch, a solid combination, move around a little solid. So, trying to be like perfect, like each and micro detail also is not really going to be. So, just be a little free for all those perfectionists that are out there that are practicing with us. You do not have to like be so strict with yourself and like each and every single detail, minor detail, like spoil yourself for not being able to do it. It's fine. Like, if your hand is dropping a little, elbows are flat and you know, it's perfect, guys. You guys are bigger. Us. If, if you are freaking amazing boxers, why are you even here? Like, what are you doing with us? Right? You guys are beginners, you're here to learn, and as a beginner, you're going to be bad at something, you're going to make mistakes. It's completely fine. Right? So just know that it's absolutely fine to look like a potato who's trying to box. It's it's completely normal, guys. So you guys will be great. Okay, so the first exercise we have in our load back session is butt raises. Okay, so 12 reps, 2 sets, butt raises. And you lift your butt up as high as you can and slowly vertically and vertically and bring it down. Vertically and vertically and take it up and bring it down. Okay, so I'm starting. We're starting the 12 reps in 3, 2, 1, let's go. 1, 2, Three, keep going, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, relax, breathe, ten seconds, ten minutes. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 Hold your legs Again, go on the side Stay a little bit Massage your lower back Feel good Awesome Let's turn around Hyper extensions And now it's good for hands Hyper extensions So Place your hand on your butt And this is a pure upper butt Like this one So let's start in 3 Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's get in your sense. Just relax in your sense. Let's get the hyper extensions again. Now position and stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, two, three. Once we have all done it, like the time like this. So, switch your hands, switch your legs, 
Let's all put it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's pass. Okay, put it on the chest, it's the same. One, stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hands pose. Guys, guys, last we have cat jump. Okay? So, just bend in your lumbar back and then boom, mid back. Sorry. Let's go. Start in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we last a little, let's finish this. Five, four, three. Two, one, let's go guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome guys. Well done, okay. We are now fifth week, second session. We are done, only 14 sessions. Great job, guys. You know the drill at the end of eight weeks, we're going to be fitter, stronger, more confident at the end of the day. Happy. Peace.